What's up, so Squad? What's up, so Squad? Guess what? It is Friday, and I got fly with me already. It is Friday, and I thought I'd show you guys how I make my biscuit breakfast sandwich. We are doing some homemade biscuits. You see me do biscuits before, but I am making a biscuit. <laughs> a basic breakfast sandwich, guys, um, with the tops, um, homemade biscuits, not your Pillsbury biscuits. Now, I go, I got nothing against Pillsbury, but if you want Pillsbury, by all means, grab them. I love those honey, um, what's that, um, the um, butter honey ones by Pillsbury. They are amazing. But if you want to do something by scratch, make a biscuit, sausage, eggs, cheese sandwich that your family will die for. Watch this video. Soul Squad, are you ready? Let's cook. Okay. In this bowl, three cups of all-purpose flour, three teaspoons of um, baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar. Yes, she said it. Three tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon for each cup. So three cups of all-purpose flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar. And that's all right here. So let me just go and wash your hands. Yes, I got a pastry cutter, but I don't use pastry cutter. I like to get in with the paper with my hands and get this thing done. So, and I'm using buttermilk. So I'm just making a wheel right here in the middle. Well, not really a wheel. I'm just moving stuff to the side. I just stirred. Let me make sure everything's stirred up good. I'll show you guys how I made these pieces before. And I got my butter. A stick and a half of butter. I um, shredded it with my shredder. Stuck it in the freezer. Look how stiff it is. Because you want that butter cold. A stick and a half of butter. And I stuck it in the freezer. And I want it, I want it stuck to the paper plate. And so, you want to move quickly. You want to make this into a crumble. But you want to move quick. <laughs> you want to move quick with it, guys. Yes, a sausage egg biscuit that your family will most definitely, definitely love. And I'm going to turn this into a quick crumble. I'm not going to make the video too long because when I record on my phone, my phone been having issues, y'all. That's when my videos, my phone been having issues with recording. So I'm going to crumble this up as you, and let you come back and see. So look at it. Nice and crumbly. You got to crumble it up. It is cold. And you want it to stay that cold. Move fast. The flour gotten cold. If I had it in the deep freezer. Yes, y'all got deep freezer. And um, it makes it really, really cold. You, your hands will get it warm. But you got to move real fast and get it crumbly. I'll be back. Okay, so squad. Look how crumbly it is. That's how crumbly you want it. Look at it. That butter is in there, right? So, I did a video once. I got this biscuit recipe from Joanna Gaynor. Look at that. One egg. I'm putting the egg in here. And it's going to help with the moisture. It's going to bring, it's just going to take your biscuit to a different level. And hey, I, when I can improve on something, yeah, I make good biscuits, but I found another way to make them. And I love it. And I think I showed you guys that video too. And it's still cold because I crumbled it up. And now what I'm about to do, go in with my cold buttermilk. Like three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. And do a little bit at a time. You pour a little bit at a time because you can always add more. And some ingredients you can't. You can't take away to get into the texture that I want. That's my oven. Ah, preheated at what? 425, guys. 425. My oven is preheated at 425. I'm not going to end up with about, not always end up with about maybe six tablespoons of milk. 
get get your um biscuits and everything is still nice and cold because the buttermilk is cold i bought the buttermilk right out the refrigerator didn't have it sitting or anything guys and i'm just trying to get it to the way i want it i always end up with about maybe six tablespoons of milk guys really use your tablespoons because i eyeball everything and when you bake it, that yeah, is crucial. And I can tell you this, I'm using about six tablespoons of milk here. And that's it. That's all. All right, guys, this is finished. Look at this. But it's not finished yet because I'm going to pour it out. And I'm going to knead it a little bit. But it's wet enough. I don't need to add no more buttermilk. It's done what it needed to do for me. And I'm going to pull it on this um, wooden board. I'm going to wash my wooden board off. Pull it on my wooden board and let you guys see me knead it. And we're going to um make some biscuits, y'all. Make some biscuits, y'all. Jackson and Dan's supposed to be in school. Mm. All right, y'all. I put flour on my circus. My biscuit's ready to go. Put this right there. And look. My bitch is ready to go. And with this recipe, I'm not using a roller or anything. And I'm still going to get layers because guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to spread them out. And I'm going to flip it and turn it around. And I, I'm using my hands. Flip it and turn it around. They're gonna get some nice flaky layers in here. And I'm not using my normal size pen, my normal size biscuit cutter. I'm gonna flip it. I need a bit more flour down here, guys. Cause the flour is the key. Keep it from sticking. Put some more flour down there. So yeah, I fold it again. And I'm gonna roll it out. Doing it all by my hand. And that's all I'm doing. And this is the last piece. You guys see that? There you go. Now, I'm going to stick some flour right here. Because like I had some flour. Ooh, that big old arm got in your way. For that um. Well, a biscuit cutter. Yeah. This ain't your McDonald's sausage, eggs, and biscuits, and cheese. This so for tea. I want big biscuits. So, I'm going to put a cutter in, and I'm cutting. Going right for the edge. Look, I'm making a biscuit sandwich, y'all. See, I stick it at the edge, then I pull in and pull up. Don't twist. Now, the, and make sure your biscuits touch each other. You want them close. I love using the little pan with my biscuits. Don't ask me why. So, see, I go to the edge and I push and I push it in, then I cut and I pull away the dough. So let me make out this um dough. I push it in, push down, and come up. And remember to go ahead and put some um. Now, if you make a small of this, of course, of course, you're gonna have a little bit more. Look at that. But I am making some biscuit sandwiches, guys. I put that on back in y'all way again. I apologize. I'm making some biscuit sandwiches. Look like I might get about six. Pull it away from there to the right there. Just to get the whole edge. Look at this. There's going to be some best biscuits. You can see the layers. Look at the layers in it. 
Look at the legs. You don't need a roller pin. That's too small. Okay, so squad, I got seven biscuits. The oven is ready at 425. I melt my I melted some butter. That butter hot. I'm using unsalted butter. And I'm spreading them on my biscuit. And I'm producing the oven on 425 for about maybe 20, 25 minutes until golden brown. And remember, biscuits work out good when they're touching each other. I'm going to save some of this butter. Even though I got seven biscuits, I was only able to get six in here. So, I got a loner that's going to cook by itself. Look at these big biscuits. Now, if I wasn't making big biscuit sandwiches, guys, of course, you're going to use a regular um, biscuit cutter and get about a dozen of biscuits. But I'm making big biscuit sandwiches. Yeah, you'll see. Okay, so Scott, I got me some Jimmy Dean sausages. Roll up. Let me get this stove on. Because while the biscuits doing what they doing, we're going to go ahead and prepare our sausages. I know. I want them nice and flat and big. Because these do shrink up too. So, make them a nice size. They can fit in that biscuit. Them biscuits. Now, some people want, you might eat bacon. You can use turkey bacon. You can use regular bacon. Mm. I'm only making two. Even though I got extra, extra, extra biscuits. I'm only making two. Look at that. Now, if you got the patties that's already made up, guys, by all means, go for it. But you may have to use what? Two sausages. Two biscuits. Yeah, two sausages on the already made up flat patties. I'm going to get this butter going. For my biscuits come out the oven. And look at that. The sauce is cooking. Got two. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at my biscuits. Look how they came out. I got some melted butter and honey. Yeah, she said melted butter. I salted butter. And honey, guys, I'm putting on these biscuits. Unsalted butter and honey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm blocking y'all view right now. All up and down these biscuits. Mmm. Let me let y'all see an inside one. It may be kind of hot. Let's see if I can pick one up. Woo! Yes, boo. That biscuit's hot. Look at that biscuit. Mmm. Let me cut this inside of Inside that biscuit, y'all. I'm about to put some of that butter and honey on it. Look inside that biscuit. Mmm. The perfect biscuit sandwich. It's a soul. Look at that. Mmm. Look how soft they are. Look how soft they are. Look how soft they are. Mmm. Soft is cooking. Soft butter. Soft butter honey biscuit. 
and I'm about to throw some hash browns in the air fryer. Look at this. Who want a bite? Friday morning, homemade biscuit, sausage, eggs, cheese sandwich, mini hash browns in the air fryer. Yes. If I didn't have a thumbnail, I'll take a bite. <laughs> but I gotta take a thumbnail. So next time, guys, like, share, subscribe. Look at the top of that biscuit. Oh, honey, butter. Yes, look at that like share subscribe to my next video so why i am out oh i'm not out i forgot all about what i got somebody to shout out guess what hope to get this video to the end babs bounce around babs bouncing around she's a youtuber she's a soul squad and guys she is bouncing around from home decor store places like michael home goods um z gallery um i forgot the other stores home goods c galleries hobby lobby she's showing you the latest and latest in um decor She's showing you the prices. She is just bouncing around from place to place, showing you guys how to decorate your home. Good pieces, price, I'm um, savvy, everything. Go check out Babs bouncing around. And I'll have a link below, guys. Look at this. Now, like, share, subscribe, and we out. <laughs>